Um, good evening. I hope everyone um, is well and having a good week. It's middle of the week, Thursday tomorrow, nearly the weekend. Um, and I hope the um, the dour weather um, isn't getting you down. And I hope you're staying active and uh, being really healthy. So tonight, um, the one thing that we all need if we're going to be um, successful in, in reaching our health and fitness goals is consistency. That, for me, is um, the number one thing that uh, clients basically need to do um, in order to, to be successful. Of the, of the many things that need to be done, but consistency is up there is a really um, important thing. Constantly showing up consistently um, doing the right things every day um, over and over again um, to have a massive cumulative um, effect on on them, on their bodies, uh, in, in helping them achieve the, their goal and what they want to achieve, uh, want to get to. Um, but the number one thing that constantly affects consistency is the individual themselves okay now this might be slightly con controversial um but i'm not i'm not here to um kind of please everyone i'm here to say what i see um and be honest and give my opinions you know my opinion is not gonna um it's not going to uh, agree with everyone. But the one thing I see time and time again, train face-to-face -face clients all the time, I'm on calls with online clients every day, um, and I've been doing this for 17 years now, and the one thing that absolutely wrecks consistency is the individual getting too emotionally attached to their results. Now, before I go into this, I totally understand why an individual gets emotionally attached to their results because they're putting a load of work in. They're putting more, more effort in, an increased work ethic. And sometimes they don't particularly want to put in that much effort. And I get it. I understand it. And if you're going to kind of go against what you want to do and what your body wants to do and you've had a good week, and then when you have your measures taken or when you step on the scales and the results don't reflect or what you think reflect the effort you've put in, then you're going to be pretty pissed off. The, the range of emotions you're going to produce are going to go through the roof. And of course, that's going to then affect your actions, your decision making um, from that point onwards. Of course it is. You know, it's not going to be like, right, I'm going to have a paddy and then that's going to be it. I'm going to get back on it again. It's going to affect your level of motivation, your level of trust in the in the program, um, whether you set it or someone else has. Um, and yeah, it's like anything, your reaction is, is, is going to affect your action and your decision making from that point onwards. So you have to remove emotional attachment to the results you see or you don't see so if you see better results um than you think you're going to get that's it's the same for that as well you can't get too overly excited and think oh right you know this is piss easy now get complacent and then before you know it because you get complacent you have a shit shit upcoming seven ten days because you think it's it's too easy you have to remove all emotion from the numbers, from the stats you see when you have, um, when you do your testing. I can't emphasize that enough. Okay. You take two business owners. Okay. And one business owner, they've had a crap month. They start panicking. They start being anxious. They start making irrational decisions irrational decisions which you see a lot of people do with their health and fitness and as a result it makes the problem worse whereas 
you see the other uh, business owner who's had a bad month, but they've looked at actually why that might have occurred, not got to um, attach to those numbers because realistically, those numbers don't change a thing. That business owner is still going to turn up the next day, put even more effort in to try and be successful, to try and earn more money, to try and earn a living, to try and provide for his family. So this is what I say to a lot of clients is like, you know, let's say a client, for example, has their measures taken on a Friday morning. On a Thursday night, they're fine. They've had a great week. They're buzzing. Oh, they've had a really good week. And then on Friday, they have their body fat taken, they have their circumferences taken, they have their weight taken, they have their pictures taken, and they're disappointed. Um, but nothing really has changed. Like, the only thing that's changed is they've had their measures taken and they're aware of where their measures are at. Yet, you know, eight hours ago, before they went to sleep, they thought they had a really good week. So... Don't let the stats grab hold of you and dictate to you what you're going to do in the future. You need to start using the stats just as as what they are. They're just stats. They're just a number. It gives you an idea of where you are in that moment. And then you can compare them to previous weeks um, and previous times where you've done health and fitness. The moment you start getting too emotionally attached to them is the moment you start being that irrational business owner where you start making stupid decisions like taking your calories down even lower, like not trusting the process long term, like forgetting that it's all based around perseverance and work ethic. You know, you'll be amazed the amount of people that they get so emotionally attached to their measures and they think, oh, well, what's the point now? And they just stop. Well, the problem is, A, you got emotionally attached to your results, and then B, your, re your reaction, your reaction to that isn't going to help you. So this is what I'm trying to say is, whether you see the results you want to see or whether you don't, does it really change anything? Because you're still going to wake up the next day and you're still going to try and better yourself. So why not just use your body stats then as numbers as a point of reference as to where you are right now regardless of where they are where or where they're not you can look at those numbers and say yeah like shit i thought they would be different and um, right what where do we go from here what do we have to do and bring in the correct chain changes informed decisions to make sure that that doesn't happen again but that's being in control of your emotions that's being in control of your decision making, which is then going to cause you to be in control of the actions you take. And it doesn't really change thing. You're still going to wake up and work hard. Whereas if you go on the other side, if you, you know, turn into a looney tune every time you don't get um, the results you want to get to, or you turn into a petulant kid, chuck your toys out the pram, you know, turn into Cristiano Ronaldo when all the attention's off him and then get thrown out your club. If that happens, you, you're just going to keep going around in circles. OK, and, and like I've just said there, it's not just the fact you're getting emotionally attached to your um, results. It's the reaction that that emotional attachment causes as well, which just is so damaging to a lot of people. And um, you lose the one fundamental factor that you need long term, which is going to change you, change your life, change your physique. Um, start to change the way people act around you, start to change the way you are with people, like more confident, and that is consistency. Consistency is, in my opinion, the single most important thing. But it's not going to happen if you keep getting emotionally attached to the results you don't think um, or you don't think you're going to see. So I just wanted to go on here and say that tonight, guys. Lose the emotional attachment when you take measures and actually just look at the number and actually think, shit, right, okay, yes, it's where it needs to be. Let's just keep cracking on. It's not where it needs to be, right? Let's make these changes. Let's keep cracking on. Nothing changes. Nothing changes, guys. Okay? Um, whatever the results you get, 
nothing changes. You're still going to wake up the next day and do exactly the same things. OK, so keep your head down, keep persevering, stay consistent with what you're doing. And I guarantee you will get there. If you keep doing the right things every day, you will get there, regardless of whether you see the results you want to see. I cannot emphasize that enough. OK, I've been in this game too long now. And, uh, you know, there is a formula and some people try and avoid the formula or they convince themselves there's something else magic out there. But it's it's consistency, it's perseverance, it's an increased work ethic. They're not the things that people want to hear. But guys, they worked 200 years ago. They work now and they're going to work in 200 years time. It's not going to change. OK, get your head down. Keep persevering, keep working hard. And make sure you stay consistent. And I guarantee you, you will get to where you want to get to. Okay. Have a good Wednesday evening. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers.